Hello everyone, I hope you are all having a wonderful day. This is going to be monthly reading for everyone under the zodiac sign of Virgo for the month of September. Let's see what is important to know for everyone under the zodiac sign of Virgo. Mm, this tarot card reading is for everyone under the zodiac sign of Virgo. Please allow me to see what is important to know for them for the month of September. I'm open to the seat for Virgo. Let's see what is important to know for you, for everyone. What is important to bring to the surface? What's, what is important to notice? Okay, I cut the deck and I begin pulling your cards. Okay. The media plus energy. Whoa, 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 okay, 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 let me see, okay, because I just feel, something is going on with Virgos, okay, guidance and advice for Virgo, okay, I'm gonna have to get up and get my other deck because I forgot to bring it here with me, okay? I will be right back. One second, one second, one second. One second. Okay, this one. I need clarification for for this energy that I'm seeing, okay? Okay, clarify me. Clarify me. Why is the Six of Swords here? Virgo, clarify me the Six of Swords for Virgo. I'm open to receive for Virgo. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, wow, okay. That is exactly what I'm seeing, but... Okay. Okay, let's stay there. Let's stay there for Virgo. When it comes to love relationships, what is important to know for Virgo? Month of September. Love. Okay. My goodness. You guys under the zodiac sign of Virgo have a lot of things going on. Okay, let's see. Guidance for Virgo. For Virgo. Okay, this will be the last card. I don't want to make this reading too long. Okay, happy, happy. It's contradictions here and it's um, endings and beginnings. Uh, let's try to put this together now. Okay, the first thing I'm seeing for you guys under the zodiac sign of Virgo is um, with someone, okay? It has been a separation, a disappointment. It's like um, you didn't feel supported by that person and it was, it's an understanding uh, that in that relationship, things have ended and changed and, and that it was time to let go, okay? But we began, we began in the past um, with the separation, okay? There are decisions needed to be made and um, not just in the thinking that you're going to do this or that, but on the acting and actually doing uh, what you are thinking and contemplating, all those plans and ideas, okay? In the past, I see a man. This man is um, very loving, romantic. Um, this can be your soulmate. Uh, this person is coming toward you with everything uh, that he can, I mean, with all his power, okay, with all his power, with, with, all, with all his love, um, I can see how um, he can be really, like, charming, okay, like, um, like, special almost, but this is not 
that I'm just going to tell you that is special. You are going to feel that. You are, when you next to this person, it's like, um, I don't know, everything changes. Maybe you forget the time. Maybe you forget the day. Maybe you forget everything, okay? And also him as well. Why? Because it's a soulmate type of energy that when you and him come together, it's, it's strange, okay? It's strange, it's powerful, it's love, it's passion, it's everything, it's attraction, it has all the elements, okay? And because of this, the only thing that I see, okay, they can be conflicted because, okay, this man is coming toward you, this man wants to propose something, this man wants to marry you, uh, wants to, you know, have a family, have it all with you. But the only thing, okay, and this is making you happy because to me, it's like, okay, this is happiness, okay? This is happiness, this is everything. But the only problem that I see with this, okay, with soulmate type energies, it doesn't always work as planned. It doesn't always come together easily. It doesn't just, it happens and we live happily ever after okay the problem with that is exactly that that I'm seeing okay so this is telling me that um because there's a lot of love and there's a lot of passion it, would, it can also be a lot of misunderstandings a lot of fights and miscommunication okay it's really 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 good when it's good and it can be really really bad when it's bad okay the, the type of relationship like Mr. Miss Miss Smith and Mr. Smith, I don't know. They end up nearly killing each other. Okay, it's kind of like that. What I'm 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 sensing that the relationship can be like that, very loving, very caring, a lot of passion, a lot of giving and receiving, and but it's stuck. Okay, it's stuck. It's a lot of everything, but I feel that some aspects in the relationship are not working well or are not going smoothly. Uh, this is because maybe uh, if he is far away or um, there is a distance in between you and this person, you are hoping that maybe he is going to come around or that things are going to change where you can, both of you begin building up and it's not happening, okay? It's like it's not happening. You are experiencing delays uh, because as a soulmate type energy, it's a lot of Yes, I love you. Yes, I, I want everything with you. But there can also be trust issues. Trust issues coming from you. Trust issues coming from him. Why? Because this relationship feels really different. Um, you are afraid to lose that. He is afraid to lose that. And instead of communicating effectively, I think both of you might decide to, to fight each other, hurt each other, um, drag each other around the floor, okay, even including um, thinking that he's cheating and lying, but because of cheating and lying comes here, I mean, I see you and him next, next to each other, okay, with a compromise, compromise in between, this indicates, okay, a relationship that has a strong foundations that can work well, but why do I see all this, like, um, misunderstandings, setbacks, miscommunication, and all these things like this. Okay, give me one second. Clarify me for Virgo, the Seven of Swords. Let me put the rest of the Seven of Swords. Okay, so, yeah, there's a lot of contradictions in this, okay? Uh, there's a lot of lies, there's a lot of back and forth communication, maybe hiding things, maybe not being 100% honest. This also, once and again, can come from both of you. Uh, maybe something uh, stopping you, uh, or maybe what I see, okay? Because both of you are can be mad at each other, that something is not happening, uh, something is not turning into a yes, it's like a no. Um, maybe it's from there that dishonesty is coming, okay? It's like when you tell someone, you know what? I'm going to be there by um, August 20-something, and then something happens. That person never arrives. Um, that person never shows up. 
And then you begin thinking, okay, why did you lie to me? Why did you say this? Why did you do this? Etc. things like that, okay? But this is also can be indicating to me the feeling of, you know what? I'm just going to pack my things and I'm, I'm taking off. I'm out of here. I'm so tired of this. You living with nothing except maybe what you are wearing or a change of clothes or your purse and, and disappearing, okay? It can be the sense of that thinking. Okay, so, um, Virgos, you have the ability to make anything happen that you put your mind to it. Um, you you can uh, manifest and, and do what is needed to be done, okay? Now, I also see um, crying, um, feeling sadness, thinking that something is over. Like I say, some of you are just going to end it. Uh, from the from the root, okay. You like you know what? This is not what I want. Even though the relationship or the or the chemistry, uh, or the being together is so strong, there are things that you're gonna feel in yourself. This is not acceptable for me. I'm not gonna keep waiting. I'm not gonna keep investing my time and energy into this relationship and actually living, okay? Living and this is not something that is easy for you because you love that person, because you have this, um, that energy that is there, that is so strong, okay? Uh, the only thing that I, I feel it can help this relationship, if you want to reconcile in the future, it will be better communication. If you both cannot communicate clearly, uh, effectively, instead of communicating, hurting each other, uh, battling each other is not going to work, okay? I also see, once and again, movement, okay? This can indicate, okay, if you used to move, if you used to live in one place, I see you moving, you changing residence, um, you beginning working in a new place or in a different environment. Please uh, go along with the changes because I see that these changes are going to be uh, positive for you, okay? Uh, now, I see endings, I see you actually ending a relationship, cutting with everything because maybe you are tired, even though right now, from the past, uh, I see a, a person, okay, that is very loving, caring, and wants to compromise. I also see you next to that compromise, you wanting to have the finances where they should be. Um, for you, family also as well is important. Um, things that matter, you know, you can be loyal, you can be there for the long run, but it's not working out because of maybe this honesty in between both of you, or this person said that he was going to do something, and it ended up not doing it, and that is very, it's like a deception, it's like a deal breaker, it's like it broke your heart in a thousand pieces, okay, and I can understand how can you feel like that, because Maybe you were hoping and building that anticipation to really be with that person 100%. Now, this is not something that you're going to get out uh, immediately, okay? This is going to need time and maybe new things that you will, le will be learning along the way. I see the number seven. This indicates to me, okay, uh, if you initiate anything right now, it's going to take you seven months to complete it. So, for example, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. April of 2020, you will begin seeing um, good results. Um, you will be feeling like you're on the right track, and the things are working out for you. Okay, I also see some of you um, as a single, single woman, single man, um, ready maybe in the future, not right away, to begin something new. Okay, so... Uh, Virgos, that is all I have for you for the month of, se month of September. Thank you so very much for allowing me to read for you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.